Hi guys, welcome back. It's Jaden Phillip, and I'm going to be reading to you the next two chapters of Lost Treasure of the Emerald Eye. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. You probably have. And I'll begin reading. Mouse Overboard. It was 11 o'clock at night and I was standing watch at the helm. Everything all right, German Stir? asked Thea. Would it, it would if you didn't call me German Meester, I squeaked. <coughs> it was getting colder. Was the weather going to change? I lifted my snout to look at the clouds. But just then the boat tipped and the boom hit me on my back. Before you could say grilled cheese on rye, hold the tomato, I was knocked overboard. I didn't even have a chance to squeak. The boat sailed away from me as I floundered in the waves. Fortunately, Thea had seen me go over. Mouse overboard, she shrieked. Immediately, all the lights came on, and the lucky lady turned toward me. Trap switched the searchlight on. Help! Over here! I cried, waving my paws. The waves <coughs> were throwing me up and down like Raddy and all in, clothes, in a clothes dryer. Clo cold water seeped into my fur. My teeth began chattering so hard, my mouth, I thought they would bounce right out of my mouth. There he is, I heard someone shout. Suddenly, I was flooded with light. They had spotted me. Benjamin threw me a line, but I couldn't catch it. <coughs> then I felt a strong paw grab me by, the, by my ears. It was trapped. Come on, come on, cousin, grab hold of my tail, he screamed. He dragged me back to the lucky lady. Ben and Thea lowered the rope ladder. Splat, I spat out a spray of water and opened my eyes. Trap was jumping up and down on my stomach. He's alive, he's alive, cried my cousin. My ears were blue from the cold. Tia was holding my paw. Tia, <coughs> Tia shone into her eyes. Uncle Trap, you really are a hero, Ben exclaimed. Really, Trap, you don't know <coughs> how to thank you, Tia added gratefully. Trap was blushing. Oh, it's nothing, rattlings. Just another day for me. Don't mention it, he shrugged. He strode away whistling, the theme song of his favorite show, X-Mouse. What a character, Trap pretends to be tough, but really a total softy, in fact. I'd say he's just as soft as my Aunt Ratilda's homemade cream cheese. A true sailor always knows what to do. On the morning... Of the 32nd day of sailing, I woke up with a shout. Wake up, Jerrykins, Thea shouted in my ear. There's a storm out there. Still half asleep, I slipped on my coat and followed Thea up to the deck. The sky in the east was dark with big black clouds. Go and lower the sails. Thea... No, wait a minute, leave, Thea, no, wait a minute, leave the smallest one up. That way, the boat <coughs> will hold the seas much better, I said. Maybe sailing wasn't such an easy thing to do. 
I better get trapped, told my sister. He's a true sailor. He'll know what to do. I left Thea at the helm and went below to search for my cousin. The boat was being tossed about by the churning waves, which kept growing bigger and bigger. I opened my door to Trap's cabin. My cousin was huddled in his bunk under the covers. Trap, the lucky lady is taking on the water. Is taking on water. We don't know what to do, I shouted, shaking him. I I don't know either, he mumbled, rolling his eyes. B-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-
of Guillermo Stilton, Lost Treasure of the Emerald Eye. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.